name is Emma Humwick. Uh, I work for PwC and I am the Cyber Sales and Business Development Lead. So a lot of my work is around um, uh, contacting clients and helping to make sure that we're um, identifying the right things for those clients. As always, a long story, very few people at the mo uh, at the, of uh, my age have come through in the normal route, uh, through gra uh, graduate programmes, etc. My route was uh, through cybersecurity recruitment, um, and that was about nine years ago. And from that point, I moved into uh, threat intelligence uh, and a sales role specifically for that, and since then to PwC about eight months ago. No such thing as typical in cyber. Um, the main thing that we have is that, uh, is that I do a lot of interaction within our own organisation, trying to make sure that everyone understands what cyber is, the kind of products and services that we have, uh, and how we help their clients. And uh, The most important thing is making sure that cyber awareness is on the radar for everyone. And that seems to be the predominant part of my role. The best fits are the people. I get to meet um, some very uh, interesting, very knowledgeable individuals. I get to work alongside some. Uh, I get to talk directly to clients about their issues on occasion. Um, although, the main, although I'm not a practitioner, uh, what I can do is, uh, is learn a lot more about the industry as I go through that process with them and make sure that what we're, uh, what we're offering uh, clients and services are actually the right kind of things for, for them and for us to, to produce. Um, the worst bits, just how busy it is. Um, it's, not, it's, it's just um, so it's such an interesting subject, but obviously everyone is very worried and concerned about cyber at the moment, and so it seems to be just in, too busy. But, uh, but I'm, sh I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure that's actually fun, part of the fun as well. Okay, so I have to do some research as part of my role in terms of what's new, what's changing, what's innovative. Uh, and certainly as I was in my recruitment role before, uh, we had to identify where the new things were, co were, were, were you know, new areas were coming. Um, I certainly think that uh, environments like the Cybersecurity Challenge uh, are really useful. Um, they can give you some good tools and guidance. Um, the Inspired Careers Network, um, various other, which is obviously quite new. Um, but some of the, uh, the larger environments, InfoSec for example, uh, and also just uh, you know, look at you know, look at organisations that, that, that do cyber um, and see if it's of interest to you. Um, and that there are huge amounts of information out there now. So seeing as it's been so diverse so far, uh, from recruitment to uh, threat intelligence sales to um, sort of business development and awareness, um, it, it could take me in any direction. Um, cyber is an opportunity. Uh, I see it as that. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that I stay in cyber, I'm really enjoying it, I've been here for nine years now. Um, so I think you know, long term, uh, maybe, so maybe being more of a, a practitioner at some point. So, so research what it is you're interested in. Um, cyber incorporates everything from, from risk management um, to sort of criminal um, sort of investigations uh, to more technical roles. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, there's, a, there's something for everyone. And I think it's just about, about finding out more about the kind of roles that you think you'd be interested in and, and developing it from there. And maybe look to speak to some of the individuals in the environment um, and, and attend some of the events that invariably can be free as well and contact people like the, the Cybersecurity Challenge as well. Um, I think it's an opportunity for us to show some diversity in our skills and what we bring to the table. So I think for women in particular, um, there has been a lack of women in the environment. Um, that, you know, and obviously there are less role models for us to look up to. But I certainly see that there's an opportunity for us to, to embrace that, that difference and make, it so that, and, and make it so that the security environment um, has the diversity of skills needed to continue going forward.